I'll use this opportunity to ask children of God not to argue or debate on issues related to sports in general, and football in particular, let me advise you not to be a fan of a football team, the results of football championships and sports tournaments are decided in the invisible world, in these meetings of Satanists and demons, I saw how the World Cup is a diabolical ceremony. Before the opening for this event of the worshippers of Satan has a human sacrifice, a ritual form to celebrate the great feast to the demons, and the whole world adored the World Cup, whose gods are the teams who are the gods of flesh and the golden trophy that is also a god, the ball is also a god, the word ball in English is written bal and read of ball, in other languages bell is a form of worship to the bal god, for all of you who are still attached to football or other sports and who are supporters of such or such other team, know that it is a worship that you offer to Satan by supporting teams composed of sorcerers. And by rejoicing over victories planned and decided in the world of darkness, what you have just read in this testimony will help you understand what I was trying to tell you about this famous Nigerian Satanist, mistakenly called a prophet, who accurately predicted the outcome of the 2012 African Cup of Nations competition between Zambia and Ivory Coast, the so-called prophet, who is a Satanist, had predicted that Ivory Coast would miss a penalty during the match and that Zambia would eventually win the game, naive people had found in this a proof that this son of the devil would really be a prophet. He is nothing of that sort, it was not a prophecy at all. This Satanist is one of those participating in this worldwide meeting of Satanists in India, so he can freely give you information like this one precisely because all these results are decided during this meeting, this Satanist is not the only one to know the results before the matches, do not be fooled, for those of you, who continued to believe that this Satanist is a prophet of God knows that a true prophet of God has much work to do than to occupy himself with trivialities like football, and God himself has enough to say to his people, rather than launching into barren prophecies concerning satanic competitions, which will bring nothing to his disciples, and of which his disciples are even invited to flee from, I went to a part of hell, I contemplated a place that only had idolaters, but they were not adorers of images, they were fans, they were suffering in the flames and the shields of their clubs appeared in his hands, the Lord Jesus said, tell my people that I do not want any of my servants watching games, nor cheering for these clubs, there is no fan of my servant, there are adorers, the Lord took me by the hand and we went to earth, he showed me how behind every club was a devil who was worshipped by that supporter, I watched demonized fans coming out of those clubs they cheered on. These endemic fans were beating and killing other fans, I beheld two shepherds who were rivals because of their rival clubs, these pastors became great rivals, because of their clubs one cursed the other, I contemplated people crying when their clubs lost, others took their lives when their clubs lost, others became depressed, in the vision, a brother began to beat in the wall of his house when his team lost the game, he cursed the players, cursed the judge cursed his club, said ugly words, the Lord said, if this is not twisted, it is worship, how they adore their clubs, if everyone wept for me, worshipped me, I would have poured revival there, the Lord took me to a football stadium that was full of people who were excited, it was the 1994 World Cup season in the United States, the Lord said, here at this stadium the raw people who travel from their country to worship soccer, I have some servants here at this stadium, to travel for me and preach my gospel, they do not want to, but for football, they spend their money on food and travel, there are many who say my servants are football fanatics do more for their clubs than for me, spend their money on tickets to watch football, but do not help those in need of help, football has robbed the place that is reserved for God and many are worshipping the sport going to hell because of this idolatry, the Lord showed me that demon he on his throne in the air, I contemplated a ball in his hand, he received the songs of the fans who were shouting in the stadium, the Lord said that many brothers are professional soccer players and that he did not want his servants playing that sport of hell that stole his worship, I saw in hell Christian soccer football fans, they were fanatics, they put their clubs above Jesus, they missed church services because of soccer games, they stopped going to church because of the World Cup, 
they traveled to places far to see their clubs playing, spending money for their club and did not help the work of God. They were believers and are in hell suffering, I've seen demons that have names of football clubs, they have monsters heads and are in shirts of clubs, each demon wears a shirt from a different club. They steal the time and worship of God through the football club, I saw how the World Cup is a diabolical ceremony, before the opening for this event of the worshippers of Satan has a human sacrifice, a ritual form to celebrate the great feast to the demons, and the whole world adored the World Cup, whose gods are the teams who are the gods of flesh and the golden trophy that is also a god, the ball is also a god, the word ball in English is written ball and read if ball. In other languages Bel is a form of worship to the Baal God.